Hi YouTube, this is Carolyn coming at you guys. And I'm coming at you guys. This is not a hair video. Don't mind my hair. I'm finishing it up right now. But anyway, um, I just want to do a video because lately I have been watching different videos on um just watching different videos and it amazed me how some of the youtubers they go back and forth that they jo the throat whether it's the natural hair situation or how someone doing their hair and all this thing. look here things that work for youtubers might work for them and it might not work for you and then again they could be lying that the stuff is working and it don't work Here's the thing I have learned over the years with doing my hair, washing it, conditioning for as lotion, deodorant, all that wise. I have highly sensitive skin. So with that being said, I can use organic stuff. I can use anything. It's going to break me out because I have very high skin. So I could go on YouTube and find somebody that, said that got the same kind of skin I have and try to use what they use and make my skin worse. Why do that? Because at the end of the day, when you subscribe or you click like or you do anything to those videos, you are paying those guys. And they're out for money. That's it. To fill their pockets or they want to get free stuff. And you're not going to get that free stuff like they're getting. Um, I don't want free stuff. I'm not doing this for a handout money. I'm just sharing you guys how I do my hair so y'all can be able to do y'all own hair. And y'all don't have to pay all this, these ridiculous prices with getting y'all hair done. Here's the thing. I went out and I bought a good shampoo. Not saying for you guys to use it. This is what works for me. What works for me is not going to work for you guys. And y'all have. So what I have bought is I went out to Dollar Tree because my pocket is very tight. And me and my husband both, we use this, this purple bottle shampoo that's called... Because it, it's a shampoo and a conditioner. But I buy both shampoo and conditioner. And it's a dollar from Dollar Tree, a dollar and seven cent plus tax. This is what I use on my hair. I'm not saying for you guys to use it, but this is what I use on my hair. I had to go through different shampoos to find out what works for me and that won't break out my skin. So I use Pro Formula Hydrating Shampoo. What I bought at Dollar Tree, you know what I mean? Salon, you know what I mean? This is what I use. Okay. With that being said, I can take out a set of braids out of my hair and I can comb my hair out without washing it, shampoo and conditioner, or put anything on my hair. Why? Because my hair is naturally good like that. You know what I mean? Quite naturally, your hair is not going to comb out easy and right away like a perm or whatnot because you just start taking out braids. But my natural hair, I can comb my natural hair and it's fine. I don't have to really immediately go and shampoo my hair. Okay. The reason why I shampoo my hair because it needs to be washed and because it smells. Not every time I take out a, out a, you know what I mean, whatever. I don't have the shampoo like that to make my hair straight or easy to comb. I can, I don't have to put no products, no nothing. Because that's how my hair is. Not saying everybody's hair is like that. That's just my hair. Because my hair is trained. I got all my hair cut off and got it trained for it to do that. Your hair would do that. Here's the thing. My mama used box perms. She have used professional perms. And right now my mom's hair is here. Bosch perms are not damaging to your hair. Not saying that it works for everybody because it's not going to work for everybody because you don't know how your hair is. What works for that person might not work for you. Keep that in mind. I use Jergens lotion. Before then, I was using cocoa lotion, all that different stuff. It was good, but it was drying out my skin. So I stopped using it. Now I can use Jergens lotion and not be ashy. My skin don't break out and I'd be good to go. Okay, what works for me might not work for you. So here's the thing. Try different shampoos. Try different soaps. Try different lotion. If it works to grow your hair out, your skin not breaking out, your scalp smells good, and you easily comb it, it's not breaking, use that. Don't go out there buying all this expensive stuff that you see on YouTube because it's not healthy and it's going to break your pocket. Do what's best for you. And don't sit here because you go on YouTube and this girl... Then bought this weave off of Amazon, eBay, I her local beauty supply, and you go do the same thing. So now you mad at her because you went out spending your money. They didn't put no gun to your head to make you do that. You chose to do that. You chose to do that. That person that 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 putting that 
There's stuff in her hair. Her hair could have been all red alone. She probably never cut it since she was a little girl. You know, you don't know, but you but people do go out. And, and and try to buy stuff that they see YouTubers say because they say, oh, well, this is what grows my hair and make my hair thick. You don't know right now if that person hair was already long and thick like that. You don't know right now if this person hair was already good. You don't know nothing. Just because it worked for them don't mean it's going to work for you. So, I'm not trying to have this video long. I just want people to know, to understand YouTube and how it's working. How people out here to make quick dollars, you know, and stuff like that. On that, if you agree with what I'm saying, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Leave your comments below to let me know how you guys feel about what I just said. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody perfect. And YouTubers, y'all got to stop fighting each other and fussing at each other. Because all y'all on here trying to make a quick dollar. And y'all all not on here telling people something for their own good half of the time. Half of y'all be bumping people up and people up. Let's be honest. Well, until next time.